All right, howdy, y'all. Welcome to the War Within Shadow Priest. We're talking about gear really quickly. I'm just going to give a brief overview while I wait in my first solo triple queue. Uh, yesterday, I was able to spam a bunch of games, get above 1600. Getting to 1600 will give you this item that will give you a token for a free tier piece. Now, I don't know how many people will be running tier. It seems like it's okay. It doesn't seem terrible for us, so I think I will probably try it out to start with. And either way, it's a free piece of gear, so definitely go ahead and take it. I think the piece you want to avoid for tier is the legs, so just don't buy the legs. You can get uh, the shoulders and the gloves have really nice stats, but I kind of already spent my conquest on those, so I will probably uh, go with the chest or the helm for tier. Uh, and then you can convert one piece to tier, so we can get two set right away, which is kind of nice. The first thing I did when I logged in yesterday is I ran over to this guy right here, uh, Rufius, and I completed his quest to go kill 100 people in the world. You can just look on your map and find any of the world PvP events and just, uh, yeah, get in a group and kill some people. Took me like 15 minutes. Uh, turning that quest in, I was able to get bloody tokens. And with the bloody tokens, I ran over to this vendor here, Gilderan, and I bought the boots from the vendor because they have haste verse whereas our honor and conquest gear do not they are like verse mastery typically so you can get some extra haste in there and then i also bought the cloak and my thought process behind this is that since i might be spending tokens on tier and i might be crafting a weapon i'm just going to avoid any of the main pieces and just try to fill in those off pieces with some higher item level gear this is 636 in arena and then the conquest gear is 639 so just a, a smidge beneath that uh, what you will also get from doing the quest from Rufius is these uh, Forged Gladiator Heraldries, and this is going to uh, essentially increase your item level. It's kind of like the trophies from Dragonflight, if you didn't play Dragonflight. These are items that will increase the item level of your crafting orders, uh, and you I think you get 9 from the quest, but then I use my remaining conquest to buy one right here for 175. Now I think it takes 10 to craft a weapon. So I already crafted this weapon with honor. Uh, it's the same item level as honor gear and I put the uh, ascendance embellishment on it. I think that this is good for us. And next week when we can craft again, we can actually put a second embellishment on or to uh, boost the effectiveness of this, I believe. For those of you wondering about precog, if you weren't able to get a gem, uh, kind of like a band-aid fix is to go buy a, an auction house ring with a gem and then you just can put precog into that it's called uh is a bloodstone or something anyways you can buy it yeah you can buy the look up a ring it's kind of a shitty item level so i'm gonna plan on replacing this very soon but if you just want to play with precog that's gonna make your life a lot easier as a shadow priest because we have to quest uh, i'm being also told in twitch chat that you can do a quest to win a brawl, which is very fun and engaging. We love brawls. Um, but yeah, let's talk about the crafting orders. Uh, essentially, I crafted this weapon, but what I'm going to do now, actually, is to get higher item level and just, you know, weapon always gives you the most main stat. If you look at, you know, I'm getting how much uh, 8K intellect from this versus my chest, which only gives me 1.7. I'm gonna uh, go to weapons and all the crafting gear you want is Algari, is like all the PVP stuff. So type in Algari. And I'm going to go for the staff. Uh, we're going to use our, remember our heraldry, so I bought that one extra one from the vendor. I'm going to boost that. And then I need to go buy these mats from the auction house. So I, I tracked that there. I'm going to go over, put the missives on there as well. This is a crucial step that I almost missed the first time. So I'll go in here and I will find the missives of the Aurora, which is Hazeverse, which is our best stats. So if I type in Missive Aurora, maybe that'll come up. Uh, I don't quite think for PvP you need... I, I want to say you do not need to spend the 5k. I'm going to buy the cheapest one, and I think that's fine. I think for PvP it doesn't matter. Now I also have to put the embellishment on, which is something about Ascension. For PvP, it doesn't matter if you get, like I said, the 20k or the 4k one, so I'm going to get the cheapest option. The stats will be the same. If you notice, like if I look at this, 89 of a random stat every 8 seconds, same thing. Uh, is there anything else I need? Oh yeah, I need to grab those mats, so I need my codified greenwood. 
Again, I'm going to buy the cheapest. You can get the quest from winning a brawl. Okay, I already read that. Uh, Shadow, Ink. I'm not saying this is the best way to do things, but at least you will have some type of competitive advantage if, as opposed to someone who hasn't done anything and is playing in full honor gear. Uh, awesome. And then there's a bunch of enchants that we'll want too. So if I go to enchant weapon, you can sort by this expansion, which is kind of nice. And you can kind of read through these and, and pick your favorite one. I think that the radiance or the radiant power is actually going to be the best. Uh, it is very expensive though. So I, I'm not sure that's quite in the budget right now. Radiant power on the low end. Um, yeah, man, I don't know. Smiting your target, that sounds kind of badass. I might have to drop. I'm about to make it rain, bro. Fuck it. I'm going to drop the 38k on this. Uh, we're going to enchant that weapon. We're going to be mega boosted. And then as far as like enchanting your rings, there's a bunch of uh, different things you can do. Obviously, we love adding stats, so haste is good. This one, Cursed Haste, seems a little different than last expansion. Sapping 100 of your versatility while granting 335 haste. Sounds very cool. Or you also have this option for just flat adding haste. I don't know if it's worth losing verse. Uh, I think we'll probably want to calculate that in total at the end, but my suggestion is just starting off with like the cheaper enchant. So this one is going to be a pretty good steal. Bang for the buck. 498 gold as opposed to the you know, 6k or whatever. So I'm just going to buy two of these, slap some haste on my rings. Even though my rings are bad, I should probably buy an extra one because I'm going to replace my ring soon. Enchant chest. Intellect and mana pool, always good for a shadow priest. We're like perpetually oom all the time. So I kind of like that. Intellect is also good. But I feel like the mana enchant will probably be abyss. Oh man, the percentage actually changes. It's kind of annoying, but yeah, we'll see where we go from there. I think that's a good starting point. So I'm going to grab all my mats. There should be a mailbox right here, dude. That's kind of fucked up that there's not. Why would they not put a mailbox outside the auction house? I feel like that's like illegal. Wait, do, oh, can I get a mailbox? Okay, here's one over here. Take all these things. Go over to my crafting order, Oligari, weapons, I'm going to do the staff, add my little friends, uh, and you know, we always got to tip the people, so I don't know, it's an appropriate amount, a thousand gold. Uh, thank you for giving me this weapon, I will take it into battle for the war within and do justice by the alliance we will prevail hopefully my note makes up for my shitty tip uh that's going to be 639 arena so obviously starting off with a weapon the first week of the season sounds really good we also saw uh whiskey mentioned something about a, a crafted two set where you can grab um a one of these so damaging spells and your abilities have a, a chance to cause your tailored threads to radiate with woven dusk weave, granting 2.6k haste for 30 seconds. This is a very large amount of haste. Probably pretty intensive on the mats. I'm not sure what this would cost to craft, but that is something that people have been doing. And I don't know what to tell you about that. I'm not going to do it myself, but that is an option. Other than that, you know, our best stats are haste and verse. So we're going to look to just upgrade our shitty pieces first uh, i'm gonna figure out where to turn this thing in bring it to abexol or near the cobwebs and narrow bar so i uh, guys we're gonna figure out where narrow bar is where oh bro what the hell i honestly don't know where that is i think i'm gonna have to look that up on wowhead narrow bar This is the work that I'm putting in so that people can figure it out where the spiders are. So I'm going to look at Wowhead. Look at this guy. He's got a YouTube video. So clutch. Shout out to J Farm.
He is in Azkenet. Don't worry, I should be able to find my way there. So basically, you're gonna have to go down into the the city's butthole, which I can find once I'm high enough in the air, right? The city does have a crevice that you can. Is that true? Yeah, there it is. You want to go into the city butt? Take it to your zone. Try to catch some speed. Alright, how far away from the spider's butt am I? And where do you convert the tier? What is this, dude? Oh, that's not what I want. How do I get out of the zone? Honestly, I don't know how to get there, but if you get there around this area, that's where you turn in your, your thing, and then, yeah, we can just link this in the description, so that's fine. Maybe we can take a flight path. I mean, Chrome's going to show me where to make the tier. Do you know how to get to the spider zone, though? I'm really not meant to be making these sorts of guides, but I figured I would put this up for everyone, and you can at least see what I'm doing to try to give myself some type of uh, competitive advantage with gear. Nice. I'm going to watch this video. Let's see where Chrome is on the map. There's a portal to that point. Oh. Okay, well, you know what? You don't have to fly here manually. There's apparently a portal, so I wish you luck getting there. And if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out, join the stream. Thank you for watching. Peace.